Are Fender acoustic guitars good? The short answer is yes. Well, there's a caveat of no as well, but we'll get into that in a minute. So let's say you are a new guitar player and you're looking at all these guitars on the walls and there's Fenders, there's Yamahas, there's Eastmans, there's Ibanez, there's Washburns, there's so many brands, I just know Fender. Somebody tells you at the shop, Fenders aren't any good. Don't listen to them. It's a good guitar in a certain price range. If you're looking at $199 and below, great guitar. If you're comparing it to a Martin Triple Lot 28, not a great guitar. If you're comparing it to like a Rogue First Act or Starter Kit from Walmart, definitely a better guitar. It's gonna play in tune. It's gonna play easily. The action's low. That means the strings are close to the fretboard, but a great guitar in general. So you're gonna get confused with a lot of these strange words that guitar salespeople and the online forums will throw out there. Solid wood guitar, you gotta have that. You don't have to have that. When you're playing a guitar that's $199 and below, don't worry about that. Get a solid top. You want layered back and sides most likely, maybe an HBL. There's gonna be high pressure laminate. There's all sorts of options that they're gonna say, it's okay. In this type of guitar, it's probably gonna sound good. Now Fender's done a great job of giving you a solid spruce top on their CD60s, solid mahogany on their CC60s. And these are confusing names, don't worry about that either. Just figure out which one fits in your lap the best. So let's say you really do want a Fender. And I recommend a Fender at $199 is a great guitar. Check out the CC60. It's the general universal shape of a parlor size guitar. It fits really well. It sounds great and it looks great. So here is the Fender CC60. This is one of the guitars I would recommend if you're starting. It's easy to play. It's set up nicely. It looks nice and it most importantly fits really comfortably on your lap regardless of your size, unless you're gigantic like the person behind the camera. Um, this is a great fitting guitar for almost anyone. And I love the guitar, it sounds great, it's warm, it's got a mahogany build. You'll hear the demo right here. If you've got a little bit more money to spend and you want something that looks different, plays a bit different, and has that Fender flair to it as well, look at some of their new Porter series. This is 100% solid wood, which you will get pitched to at the guitar stores or on the online forum sometimes. This has all of that. Now, it's also got the electronics built into it as well, so if you're playing in a coffee shop, church setting, or home recordist, this is excellent. It's set up out of the box to go. It comes with a great, the super deluxe soft gig bags. Um, now, would this be my number one choice of acoustic guitars in this price range? Probably not. I would seriously consider the Taylor 114 or the 110, the E series in both of them. They're the same price. They're not solid back and sides, but they're phenomenal playing guitars and great sounding instruments as well. But if you want some of this splendor, this bang, this kapow, and you want that weird headstock, check it out. <laughs> Now let's say you really want to blow the bank a bit and you want a Fender acoustic guitar no matter what. Well, I'm holding the Fender Acoustasonics Telecaster. They have a Stratocaster version of this as well and we have plenty of those. But what I recommend, if you want something odd, unique, that you can plug in, you have to plug in it. It does not sound good unplugged. It sounds like a bad acoustic guitar with a pillow on top of it. But when you plug it in, this thing sounds awesome. Sounds like the most expensive acoustic guitar you can ever get. It goes straight into an amp or it can go in your computer system. You can play it in, the, again, the worship houses, your coffee shops, sounds like that. And good in here, it's an electric guitar all of a sudden. It's a Fender Telecaster. It's kind of an unbelievable creation that was built by some strange little masterminds at Fender. These cost around $19.99. They're great guitars, they're really unique, and they're a ton of fun to play. This is the Fender Acoustasonic Telecaster. Turned up. So in conclusion, here's your gambit of Fender acoustic and sort of acoustic guitars. You got your CC60, you got your Newporter, you got your Acoustasonic, you got all sorts in between, but don't be afraid to check out other lines too. There's Yamahas, the Eastmans, the, all, the Washburns, the Ibanezes, they're all great, but just don't get the cheapest, cheapest starter one that you're not gonna have fun playing and it's gonna turn you off of playing guitar. Fender acoustic guitars, it's a fun place to start and it says Fender on the headstock. Baxter, Casino Guitars, signing out.